Alright, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we'll be trying to solve chapter 2 questions, which is equations, inequalities, and absolute values. So today's question will be 2 to the power 2x minus 1 plus 8 is equal to 5 to the power x. So <coughs> I'll be showing you how to use the lab method. In that method, the lab method. Now, first things first, we have to separate the index. So remember, whenever we have a, a index which is x minus y, for example, we can separate it as a to the power of x divided by y. <coughs> Wait. X divided by y. So that. This is how you change from index to become oh wait <laughs> wrong a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y. Okay, as long as the terms are the same, you can create in this form. So how do you change this form into this kind of form? The first now two to the power of x two to the power of two x can be changed to two to the power of two x divided by two plus eight is equal to 5 to the power of x. Now there's another thing that you have to remember which is a to the power of x and y. This can be um, multiplied, the indexes should be a to the power of x, y. Okay, so we can separate the index become 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 divided by 2 plus 8 is equal to 5 2 to the power of x. Now we have already created a term which we can use the lab method. So let's say that 2 to the power of x should be p. Now every term which is 2 to the power of x will be replaced as p. So now we see that p to the power of 2 over 2 plus 8 is equal to 5 2 to the power of x. It creates, oh wait, I'm sorry, 5 times p. <laughs> now, <coughs> it creates a quadratic equation. So, first things first, I want to eliminate this fraction down here. So, I'll be multiplying two both sides. So, it should be p squared plus 16 is equal to 10p. And then, we arrange it to become the quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Therefore, wait, let me move this a bit. More space needed. So we can arrange it to become p squared minus 10p plus 16 is equal to zero. Now we change it to become a quadratic, quadratic equation. Now we factorize the equation. We get p minus 8 and p minus 2. <coughs> now we can note each one is for p, which is p is equal to 8 and p is equal to 2. And now we have our value of p's. We know that we let we substitute p with two to the power of two x, two to the power of x. Therefore, we will have two answers, which is two to the power of x is equal to eight, and two to the power of x, which is two. Now, we can compare the powers indexes as long as we make sure that the the right hand side is the same term. So it should be two to the power of x is equal to two to the power of three. 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 1. Therefore, x should be 3 and x should be 1. So the first x should be 3 or the second x should be 1. Okay? So if you want to reject your answer, you may just substitute into the original equation, which is this one. Then you can determine whether or not is, is it the correct answer or not. Alright, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Assalamualaikum.